Hey everybody, welcome back to Arcanum. Got a comment from some guy here real quick. Too bad you didn't find the book would have let you in without fighting in the pit. Yeah, I remembered that, but like, I don't remember where the fucking book is. and Just like, whatever, just getting on with it, you know. Settle hint, right click on the companion portraits. Yeah, I know, that, honestly, that still feels kind of like new. I mean, I don't remember ever actually using that um, way back in the day. Hell, I don't even know if it was in the manual or not. Um, let's see. Apparently there's a way to kill that illusion for a monster XP. I've never tried it, though. Yeah, um, I read about that, too. Uh, never actually tried it myself, either. So it's, I don't know. It might work. Uh, but I just don't know. Vengeance for the skeletons you just murdered. Uh, oh, yeah, because Smokey jumped up in my lap and fucking clawed me and shit. Yeah. Yeah, fuck them skeletons. <laughs> My cat's just an asshole. That's all there is to it. If you got the schematic, it would be in the extra area. Click the roll scroll button. Yeah, I remember late, like later on, and you know, I mean, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this. And technologist was not really a class I played a whole lot. Lost and confused. Of course, five forward head find the bar. Well, yeah, damn straight. Uh, miracle Miracles, Troy can really did account for the most unorthodox of players. I'm honestly kind of confused by that statement because, like, I figured, um, <clears throat> finding that particular little thing was, like, a given. Hold, what business have you in the Caverns of the Wheel Clan? Speak. I come with grave news. I see. This is grave news indeed. You need to speak with King Thunderstone. His house is directly northeast of here. Just through the center of passage. Speak with him and he will know what to do. Okay, cool. I can, like, actually just... Wait a minute, um, yeah, that's not it. Oh, shit. Sorry, it's been a long night with very little sleep. Way more noise than I would like. Greetings, Traveler. I'm sorry, I don't believe we met. I am Ranver... Uh, Thunderstone. Son of Loghair Thunderstone. I stand as chieftain and king and waiting of all the dwarves, both over and under mountain, in the lands of Arcanum. Welcome to the Caverns of the Will Clan. A pleasure to meet you, Ranver. I have a few questions. Of course, what do you need? I come with news of a most dire nature. Dire nature, what are you, are you speaking? I have a tale to tell. Ranver is quiet for some time. I see. And you've been to the Isle of Despair to confirm the story of Goodmund Orbender. I was there, and I bring news of Thorwald Two Stones. Thorwald, he's been gone quite a while. We've been considering sending out a search party. I mean, it has been a hundred years or so. Then again, Thorwald was always something of a loner. But where do you have concerning him? He's on the Isle of Despair. Thank you for making this aware. I'll send out an attachment as soon as possible. We'll bring him home. Glad to hear. One or two more things. I need to find your father. He knows what's going on here. 
This is an old and dark business. The business of my father, and as I am his heir, it follows me to make it right. <coughs> but I know not what to do. He told me so little. What happened to your father, Ranver? Visibly shaken. My father. Great and solid log hair Thunderstone, king of dwarves. Do you know of him, stranger? The stories of his courage, of his strength, of his wisdom. My father, stone among stones. From out of the madness of the clan wars, he united us under one banner, under one king, through the sheer power of his will. The clan wars. Yes, a sad time in our history. For 500 years, there was a rift among the dwarves. We built great machines of war and threw ourselves against one another. Ah, fuck, can't talk. And entire clans were lost in the battles. A dark time, the time of L uh, Lorik's insanity. We speak very little, little of that time. Who was Lorik? I've said we don't often speak of it. There's a conversation for another time, perhaps. Where is Loghair, Randver? What happened to him? It broke his heart, that heavy stone heart. He who warred against Lorik, the abjurer in the past of Gorgoth, who, in victory, burned Lorik alive along with 10,000 of his dwarven followers. And this... This broke him like a child upon the stones of the world. Please, Ranver, I need to know what has happened here. Ranver calls, calms himself. It is as the Orbender told you. My father permitted the banishment of his own people by the elves. He watched them sent away, heard their cries with hardness, born of a hundred generations of thunderstones. So where is he? My father came home and upon his knees cried out for his lost foolish brethren. Tears of regret, stranger. Regret, shame, and sorrow. The captain shook with his fear. He shook at the impact of his hands upon the stone. He tore the clothes from his body and set his bulk against the walls and the floors, and his sorrow was marked in blood. And then, I told you, he left us, walked into the old caverns with nothing but harrow, first axe of the thunderstone. And with the weapon, he disappeared, exiled by his own grief, and left the wheel clan. He's never returned. Goodman spoke of a connection with Gil to Gilbert Bates. Bates. It was Bates who spread technology in his disease. And who, and who are we to blame him? Humans, cursed with brevity, lacking patience, lacking discernment. I spent human lifetimes deciding what type of stone to use in a mural. And look what they've done in only a few turns of the moon. And with this, these elves came to us, speaking of punishments. The elves, what's their role in this? The elves, it was they who demanded the banishment of the Black Mountain Clan for their crimes. But as for the reasons, as I said, I know very little. My father never told me the details of his discussion with them, only that they had, what had been decided was necessary and the responsibility would be his. What crimes? What had the Black Mountain Clan done? Technology, manipulation of natural force, the stone, and gear works that make men gods. This our legacy given into the hands of reckless children, and the, the disease has spread, and the cost, stranger, oh, the bloody cost. What did the rest of the clans say? The other clans never knew that the elves were involved in the banishment. They were only told that the Black Mountain clan had been exiled, punished for their crimes, and my father was the only one present when their sentence was passed. And the elves who approached him, who were they? I have no idea, and I know not why my father felt it necessary to speak with them, nor to heed their demands. As king, my father never should have allowed them to interfere, but for some reason he allowed it. He's never spoken a word about it since. It seems I'll have to speak with Loghair. Where is he? I told you, he exiled himself. He walked into the dredge and has never returned. The dredge? What is it and what, where can I find it? The dredge is an old system of caverns, a mine actually, not far from here. The entrance is just beyond the, en the entrance of these chambers and to the southeast. There you will find a stone archway. Beyond that you will find the dredge into which my father disappeared. What can I expect to find him in this dredge? Right now it serves little purpose but to house an assortment of foul creatures. There are minecart tracks and occasional assortment. No one ventures there anymore, so I don't know what know anything beyond that. You must know where he is. Can I convince you to tell me? Um, no. I have no idea where he is. If you're looking for him, you'll have to find him yourself in the dredge. I will tell the guards there to let you pass. I hope you find your answer, stranger. I see. Then I go now to find him. Yes, you must go your own way on this, stranger. I will tell the guards the entrance of the dredge to let you pass. Good day to you. Farewell. If you have high enough um, persuasion, he'll actually open the fucking throne here and uh, like let you uh, in to see this dude. 
because he's right beneath the throne. Can't disintegrate the throne so I can climb down the ladder. That would be nice. I fucking hate the dredge. I actually don't have enough, um, potions, but whatever. Taking a look around, where do, they, where do these stairs lead to? These are the caverns of the dredge, an old system mines. Randver Thunderstone has given me permission to search them. Yes, if you don't mind, go away. Are you fucking serious? Now my dog goes to wipe everything out in here. For fuck's sake, seriously, I, that was a joke, dude. You're not supposed to actually go wipe everything out in here. I need to get my fucking weapon back, Sog. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I haven't saved in a while. Let's save. Because there is no um, auto saves. I'm like rolling like I do in some guys' actual D and D games, dude. Like really fucking horribly. Okay, I didn't drop it, so that's good. here. Yeah, not worry about that.
Are you blind? What in God's... I, I mean, better luck next time. Ah, fucking trap. All of it. Fucking dog is just phenomenal. Oh shit buckets. Don't fucking hit him, god damn it. Horse traps. Shit. to retreat. Need a clip of Cobra Commander doing his little retreat screech. Hopefully soon I can find Sog some fucking armor. Because, yeah, some guy's right. He does need some fucking armor. <coughs> but the armor for ogres is, like, fucking so much harder to find than, like, virtually everybody else's. Okay, let me see here. Intelligence goes up. This, yeah, I think that's a better plan. Just fuck off. I want to go down.
the geode? Nah. Oh, that's right. Um, that's a quest related to the dredge. Deal with that right now. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yep, it is a choo-choo train. There's an old dwarf that wants it back. And we'll take it to him after this. Ah, no, 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 stop. Fuck. Not enough energy. Um, kind of screwed on this. Did I say I hate the dredge? Because, you know, I'm pretty sure I said it, but I'm going to say it again. Just to reiterate, I fucking hate the dredge. What am I fighting? Okay. Not much now. I'm kind of wondering how uh, my audience here would feel about me playing through the original Fallout games, Fallout 1 and 2. They're isometric like this, basically. Um, somewhat uh, limited as far as uh, well resolution and things like that goes. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to see that or what? Let me know. Hit me up in the comments.
Yeah, we hold it. Just go. <sighs> really? Fucking really. Of course have to be fucking traps. Oh fuck me running. Oh fuck me running. Fucking hell, how many fucking paths are right here? Fuck. that particular bit of a combat we are going to uh go ahead and save that shit is uh
Why is there a wolf in dark ass mining tunnels? That right there is the only way to enter a room. Just chuck a fireball in, you know. I'm fair sure some guy's suffering some form of PTSD because of that. Ah, fuck you. I can't even wait. Okay, shit goes sideways. If this is why I hate the fucking dredge. It is just way too long for what it is. Oh, never mind. Fucking hell! Oh, 
からね Oh shit. Fuck. I hate the dredge. I absolutely fucking despise that fucking this spot. It's just way too fucking long for what it is. It's it's just garbage. <laughs> Why is he walking slow? What is it that you want? Wow, is this going poorly? I mean, like, just fucking wow. Now you fucking... <sighs> My irritation level is definitely climbing. I will admit that. I'd run the fuck back out of the dredge, but good god, it's such a long distance. Of course I'm fucking poisoned. When am I not fucking poisoned? Now I gotta wait for this fucking shit to end.
How fucking far is this? Yeah, I'm going to run out of here and rest. I mean, the only place I can think of that's as annoying as the fucking dredge is like an elven ruin um, on the other side of the mountains. Can't remember what the hell it was called. But that one pisses me off, too. Well, fuck off, then. Yes, whatever. Fucking just the hell out of my way, you little stumpy bastard. Excuse me again.
Are you fucking kidding me? fucking uh, stamina, not really stamina, but whatever you want to call it. Fatigue again. And this is a dead fucking end. Yeah, I'm fucking bird flint. That's probably worth something, so whatever. Constitution and willpower. Okay, so willpower is plenty, so we'll bump constitution. Did I mention I fucking hate the dredge? Yeah. Fucking Christ, most of this video has been running around in this fucking shithole. Oh, I thought this motherfucker crashed. I was about to fucking lose my shit, dude. Oh my god. Probably gonna pass out doing this, but whatever.
Wait, can I just circle back? What the fuck? Are you blind? What in God's... I, I mean, better luck next time. Go fuck yourself, Virgil. Apparently so. I think that's a dead end, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right, just such dog shit, I've repressed the fucking memory of how to get through this fucking shithole. Worst fucking dungeon area ever, dude. Did it, uh, it? It fucking stopped right there. I mean, like, what the ever loving blue fuck? Really? Are you really gonna make me fucking click through all this shit? Fucking cocksucker. Nope, right, that's that goes back to the beginning.
Yeah, I'm getting frustrated and fed up with this shitty fucking little dungeon. That looks like that. Well, no, probably not. That's a dead fucking end. Right there. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm getting more than a little bit frustrated with this fucking bullshit ass dungeon. That way, maybe? Fuck, I don't know. Good God, just fuck right off with these goddamn traps. <sighs> I'm trying to get to, like, the end of this crap, and shit, I'm already over time as it is, so, you know... This might be a, actually a really long episode, because guess what? I'm not going to fucking stop until I'm through this goddamn dredge. For fuck's sake, just... Oh god, why won't we end?
Like I said, I fucking hate the goddamn dredge. Fuck. Sorry, I have a little bit of heartburn over this fucking bullshit ass part. Even my computer's starting to have fucking heartburn over this bullshit ass fucking part of the game. Where is the end to this crap? Fucking finally. What? Who dares disturb the exile of Thunderstone? Forgive me, your highness. I had no choice but to... Quiet. This insolence is unforgivable. The violation of my ancient right for solitude in exile is not broken so easily. Your life hangs in the balance, stranger. Speak quickly, lest you taste of the fury of Harrow. No, stranger. You must listen to me. I've come here to writhe upon the blade of my sorrow. To live the thousand deaths by the ancient right of kings. These laws are passed down through the mountain from the beginning of remembered time. Your life is forfeit to them, as is my own. Do you understand? What? How do you know? Speak quickly. Your life still hangs in the balance. Fine, I have a, st I have a story to tell. I have no words, no words. My crime, it seems, is even more heinous than I thought. I deserve much worse than this mere <coughs> isolation. I need to know exactly what happened. In all the time since the judgment was passed, I have never spoken of it. My shame has held my tongue. It seems that very shame shall now finally bring the betrayal to light. Please, these elves who approach you, who were they? <sighs> A delegation of elves sent from the Silver Lady herself. They came not long after Bates had built his first steam engine. Technology in the hands of the human had spread and advanced at an alarming rate. And the elves were hit first and hardest. How? What had the spread of technology done to the elves? Their forests. Their forests were being cleared with the help of technology. Massive steam-powered clear-cutters. The oldest groves, towering and untouched for thousands of years, were being destroyed without prejudice. I saw much of this with my own eyes. The ancient forest of Morbahan is little more than a graveyard now. Why did technology spread so fast among the humans? There are many <coughs> reasons. Humans, in comparison with the other races, live such short lives. Because of this, I believe that every human action is motivated through fear. The fear of death. You would think that this was a relative issue, that humans would learn to live with this limitation and accept it. This is not true. And? And, therefore, humans, when confronted with any situation, see it through the veil of their own mortality. Achieve, advance, perform. Humans are constantly driven by the shadow of their own death. This fear, unfortunately, clouds their judgment, deadens their sense of right and wrong. Humans act first, think later, and feel last of all. When Bates was given a look at our technology, he was overcome. As a human, his first thought was, what can I use this for? When it should have been, what is the cost of its use? Technology exploded in their hands because they are not burdened with our longevity. Humans rarely live long enough to see the consequences of their mistakes. 
I'm unsure, but I don't believe so. But the delegation said that the crimes were against all elves. You see, elves feel a very strong connection to the world, to nature, and especially to forests. It's said that elven souls reside in the oldest trees. I don't know if this is true, but I do know there to be a strong connection between living things and magic. Which is the silver lady? Who is she? The silver lady is mother queen to the elves. She is very old, much older than I, and very powerful in the ways of magic. The delegation told me that she was extremely hurt and angry about the damage that had been done. According to them, because of her age and power, she was hurt the most by the clearing. Her connection to the forests was strongest of all. No, <coughs> I'm not sure if any but elven eyes have ever been laid upon her. Over the years, we have corresponded through messengers. Elves and dwarves are very different, and we tend to stay away from one another. But our relationship, as culturally strained as it may be, has always been civil. We don't necessarily understand one another, but we've always respected the differences. In Kintara, the oldest city of the elves, somewhere within the glimmering forest, I've said before that there is a strong connection between living things and magic, and the magic flows the most strongly in the veins of elves. Dwarves are very different. We feel a strong connection to the earth, but in another way. We love those things which are eternal, unchangeable, earth, stone, metal. In those things are strength, but not life as you know it. They said that if the Black Mountain Clan was not punished, there would be war. War! I told them that a punishment was already being decided upon, and that we, as dwarves, would deal with them. They refused. They claimed rights as the afflicted, and therefore as the judges. They agreed that exile was a suitable punishment, but they wanted to be the vessel of that retribution. No, I know that there was a time of violence many years ago among the elves. But from what I know of them, they are a very rational, peace-loving people. They know that ultimately, war benefits no one. I was very surprised when they came and threatened it. Yes, the more we talk about it, I begin to get the same feeling. Yes, the elves would have been angry, but would they really have threatened war? Morbahan was a tragedy, but directly affected none of the elven communities. Perhaps my fear blinded me to such things before. And now this mystery. Where are the dwarves of the Black Mountain clan? I am very old, stranger. You may know nothing of me, but believe me when I tell you that I've seen enough dwarven blood spilled to fill a thousand lifetimes. Have you any idea what it would mean for there to be a war between the elves and the dwarves? Arcanum itself would not survive the conflict. And I was so very tired of filling tombs with the bodies of my people. But nothing. I chose to spare the dwarves, the world, the price of such a war. What was one clan's honor in comparison with the sheer cataclysm that would result otherwise? You ask what right they had? None. They merely forced a choice, and I chose the path of least resistance, the least pain. That was my betrayal, stranger. Sorry, I stopped breathing because I'm, I'm a little bit of trouble breathing. <coughs> but that is the point. I am king of the dwarves. It is my responsibility to lead them, to protect them. But most importantly, it is my responsibility to defend their honor, their dwarven honor. By allowing my own fear or concern, regardless of how justified that fear might be, to overshadow their honor, 
was an unforgivable transgression. Even as king, the choice is never mine as to whether even one dwarf is stripped of his honor. I should have brought this to the people, or just flatly refused from the beginning. I was a coward, a failure, and this exile is my punishment. Given the choice now, I would have waged war against all of Arcanum to uphold the honor of that foolish little clan. I don't know, stranger. I think that it is too late for me. No, my friend, it is no longer my burden. I've taken up another. I failed the dwarves once. I shall never do so again. Leave me here. Tell Randver he won't be seeing me any more. I see now that the price for my cowardice is even more costly than I'd imagined. My poor dwarven brothers. I'm so very, very sorry. Take this. A letter sent to me from the elven delegation. Within it is a name. Min Gorad. It's all I have, and all I'm willing to give. Perhaps you should seek out Kintara, City of the Elves. I know not where it is, but the village of Stillwater is near the edge of the glimmering forest, in which, it is said, Kintara lies. Maybe someone there will know where to find it. I'll say no more. Leave me. I return to my exile. I am nothing. I'll say no more. Leave me. I All right, guys. To my exile. Um, that's it for today. I am um, nothing. Next episode, obviously, we're going to be working on getting through Steelwater and heading to Kintara. So, with that, guys, I will catch you next time.